hello and welcome or welcome back so today you'll notice that i've got a different setup it is hopefully just for today um it's just so cold sitting at my desk so my feet have gone <laughs> really cold so i'm sitting on my bed doing this because it's just so much warmer um i've also got two new binders one of them this one here is my savings challenge now and this one here is my dailies that i'll use every month basically um i had to separate my savings challenges from my everydays because out of sight out of mind once it's stuffed i put it aside and i i don't look at it anymore and i've actually noticed a big difference this month that urge to splurge has not been there so i've managed to put this under a book or on a bookshelf and i haven't needed to look at it so that's really good and then i've got my dailies here so i just needed a change because although the other binder it was pretty but i had had that for a good i don't know i think about 10 years so it was time for a change and i just really liked the feel of these so i will leave them in the link down below um, they're just such good quality and i like the fact that they they're um flexible whereas my cardboard binder the one that i had before it was quite rigid and i didn't really like using it um so there's those two and then i have got these two so i've got one for my 50 p's and one for my gold only um anything else like 20 p's 5p's anything like that they're just going to stay in my purse and be used because I do not like change that much because it just weights, weighs down your purse and um, makes a lot of noise <laughs> okay so here I have £225 uh, let's double check two four six eight one two four six eight two ten five ten fifteen twenty five oh two thirty five okay i haven't got what i thought um but 120 of that was from college reimbursement and i thought you know what rather than put it back into my college i'm just going to stuff it because if I wasn't entitled to getting that refunded um it would have been a write-off so i'm going to treat it as a write-off and put it into savings instead and then the other 105 pounds is from universal credit payment um i've been put on universal credit so that i can obviously live whilst i'm not in work because i am waiting for surgery and i am hoping to get my date on the 25th of january so fingers crossed and then i have 20 pounds from um is it classed as a side hustle if it's just two items that you sold from home that you've had in the loft for the last i don't know five years but anyway i sold two two kilowatt radiators and then this one here is from my lovely mum who has been my guinea pig for the last couple of weeks for my beauty class so she's given me 20 pounds at uh, 10 pounds rather to refund the uh paraffin wax that i used on her <laughs> that was so much fun okay so i want to start off with my savings challenges just because i don't know if i'm going to have enough change because as always um the post office only gave me 20 pound notes so um trouble is my daughter we've already done hers there is now 18 pounds in that i've had to have film this twice because the first time i forgot to press record so this one's done this one i am adding 75 pounds to which is fantastic 
so let's see if I can work this out. I have already ticked it off. So that needs to have 170 in it all together. So it's two, six, eight. Uh, what am I doing? Two, four, six, seventy five. This is going to be the easiest way for me to do this. So, okay, so that's that, and then we'll take those. Oh, what did I just do? There we go. Get there eventually. And then there's two, four, six, eight, one hundred, two, four, six, seven, hundred and seventy. Is that correct? So that's two, four, six, ninety five, a hundred, one seventy. Yes, perfect. And I'm absolutely loving my new stickers on my envelopes. I don't know if you can see that, but they're so glitzy. And it's funny because I've done a very pretty Christmas one and I no longer need it because after the poll that i done about you guys, would you buy a Christmas tree for £1,400? I saw sense. Thank you very much for your help for that. <laughs> But I've decided not to get that Christmas tree in future. Um, this one is my college folder and I've already ticked it off. This one is also going to get £25. 25, 25. And um, basically I went on Facebook and asked if anyone had a spare Christmas tree that we could just borrow. And on um facebook website there's like free cycle in like your areas some have them some don't but there was a lady that contacted me and said that we could pick up a free christmas tree which had the built-in lights so i was like i was blown away by her generosity so we're going to go collect that tomorrow and that way then, all I need to do is pay about £6 for some really nice baubles. So we are very chuffed. Um, these two I'm going to do in a minute. Trouble's birthday is going to get 10 Right, Mother's Day. I just love these. I like how these turned out. My mum loves pink. I can't stand pink. No, don't like pink at all. <laughs> uh, Father's Day is also getting five. And then my Christmas one. See what I mean? It's so pretty. And now I don't need to use it. Because our family does Secret Santa. So all I need to do is pay the £30 for my Secret Santa. And then however much for my daughter. And that's like two presents a year that I need to get. So uh, I'm going to leave that in there. So next year I will put it in there just for the sake of using my folder. <laughs> okay, so that's that one done for the moment. But I do want to go back in and do my me time and the holiday fund. I just want to get these done first. Ooh. Okay. So pets are sorted until the end of January. Because um, in my last video I completely um, covered pet food for December and January. Because I really don't like shopping in those two months. Because it's just ridiculously busy. Um, I did have three pounds in here, but I've taken it out and I've put it put it to the side. Um, miscellaneous is getting five. Ooh, I 
just shut it that's not helpful so miscellaneous things is just like bog roll um any ladies items that we might need to get or just things that i wouldn't want to take out of my grocery fund or anything else like that and then dining out was going to get 10 hold on let me have a look and see because i need dining out entertainment and car maintenance so let's have a look if you couldn't tell i had a wee bit of an issue with uh the post office again they didn't want to hand out their five pound notes or their ten pound notes so i took what i could get and unfortunately it looks like i might have to come back tomorrow oh no oops let's just go back through these real quick no i'm gonna have to come back tomorrow tell you what i'll finish hold on maybe we can put the oh no <laughs> hold on bear with i need to find that before it gets lost <laughs> oh no pause okay we are back okay also i forgot that those were there so i think i might be able to do this now so i needed oh, <laughs> Maybe I will leave dining out until I get some change. So entertainment was going to get 30. That one I am definitely going to fill because me and my daughter have got plans. So 20 and 30. Car maintenance is getting 15 no it's not oh yes it is because oops i can just use the change so that's five ten four five and now i can't count there we go so that's one two three and five I hope everyone's feeling better because the last few videos that I've watched there's quite a few of you sniffling and not feeling a hundred percent okay that I believe is done for now and then we go back to this one okay quite a few of my um college colleagues have been sick lately as well bless them and their little toddlers uh, no. nope. oh, there we go so i don't know how loud this is going to be so if you've got headphones in heads up okay six pounds i'll roll it again so six twelve so eighteen pounds i'm just going to put a 20 in so six and twelve this round so I can see what I'm crossing off. Mm, so there's a 12 and a 6 and then holiday is going to get okay so with my holiday fund 
this is going to get 1250 so it's exactly the same as my emergency fund but I've crossed out the 75 pounds because I won't be able to do two lots of 75 pounds in one month not with my current income maybe when I finally get my business up and running um, but that again won't be until after I've had my surgery so we're looking at about May June time so I have got left two four six eight why do I have that and I also have my change which is going to go straight into the these but I don't know why I've got 80 pounds I know I should have done this in the morning. Don't get me wrong, I like having extra money. But all of this was allocated. So I'm 25 to college, 75 emergency, 10, 15, 30. Give me a minute. Okay, I still can't figure out what I've done. So. I'm just going to roll with it and put it wherever I can find a place, which will not be hard. <laughs> so 20 of this I'm actually going to put aside for tomorrow because I'm going to take my daughter to go get that Christmas tree. And there are some baubles that I want to get from a place called QD. Um so that will go towards them as i was saying with regards to the holiday fund these black dots that i've crossed out here are the 75 pounds that i will not be putting towards this holiday fund i'm quite happy to just get to 500 pounds with this challenge to be perfectly honest um because me and my family go on holiday once or twice a year together so i want to put as much towards this as possible because i don't know what their plans are with regards to holiday so i am going to put 40 pounds towards this now um so 30 oops and 40 That's £40 there in holiday. It's a nice start. And once I have completed this, I might be getting rid of this one because this, I don't really do anything for myself. So this would be holiday money, like spending money or... I suppose it could go towards interior decorating because I do want to do the house up ready for when I start my business from home. Uh, it's something that we're going to have to think about. Um, you know what? I'm going to roll the dice for me time again. Five. Okay. You know what, I might just stick a whole 20 in there and be done with it. So, another 20 in there and I'm just going to cross a few numbers off. So I had two left over from the previous roll. So... No, it wasn't. It was £4. Um, there we go, so that's the first 20 that I'll put in, then we have got 10, 20, okay so now I just have 20 left, obviously if I figure out where that money's come from then, or what it was supposed to go towards rather, I can always just take this out and put it where it needs to be. And then, 
I'm going to do that. I'm going to put 20 into my college fund. So cross off the, let's do this 15 over here. Take that five out, put that 20 in. So now I have two, four, six. Just double check, 10, 20. 45, 50, 60, yes. So I don't know what I did before. There we go. Now, where are we going to put this pie? <laughs> you know what? I'm going to put it into her one. She's done so well the last couple of months. December. Take a pound. And put that into hers. Oops. Put that back. Lovely, lovely. Oh no! <laughs> oh! That £20 was for tomorrow's spending. <laughs> you know what? It's going to stay where it is. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. <sighs> so, how is everyone else's day going? <laughs> okay, so. Three pounds is in my gold only, and then fifty piece is getting one, two, three, four. And the good thing about these is if I ever need any change for my me time wallet, then it is there. I'm going to figure out how to get that £20 out so that I can do some shopping with my daughter tomorrow. <laughs> Hope you all have a fantastic Christmas. Sorry this one has been an absolute nightmare. And actually before... Okay, so before I go, I want to give a quick shout out to two lovely people um Gillian with Brown Skin Girl if you're looking for a um savings challenge she has got lots for you to look at and probably give you an idea of what would be good for your budget and not only that she if you message her asking where that specific bu uh, budget come from she'll be able to let you know where she got it from on Etsy um the other lovely lady that I'd like to shout out to is Iris budgets um oh is it budget with iris oh i'm sorry iris <laughs> but i will leave her link in the description below for you so that you can go check out her channel um but she has got an amazing etsy shop and she's just put her etsy um items back in there and they are absolutely stunning so go and check out her channel and her etsy shop she is absolutely lovely and she's really quick with replying to your queries and things um so yeah that is everything from me tonight i'm going to go to bed because it is actually five to midnight which is probably why <laughs> this video was such a nightmare i'm so sorry <laughs> um thanks for watching bye